Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. So today I'm a bit late in this game guys but I'm going to be doing a first impression on the it's been on the market for about three months now already and I'm only jumping in now on the the Revron Rose Glow, right? The Hydrating Primer and then also the Revlon can Candid the, I got myself the foundation and the concealer, right? So I'm going to be giving these guys a go and tell you guys my what I think about it so I um, don't know what's been happening in your guys side of the world so much has been happening on mine it's crazy guys I don't know if you guys know what it's like to have someone in your life just just to be clear this is not about my husband guys so please don't read into this as if it's him but someone else I don't know if you guys know what it's like to have like family or friends in your life that is just so draining negative almost like to the point where you don't know okay this palm firstly I don't know it took up so little of the product I'm trying to squash it out nothing's coming out let me try and squeeze in some more pressing the thing here let's see okay there's a bit more let's see okay okay it's coming out no it's not so it's like once it's in there it's like not squishing out hmm. trying to squish up some more try okay I don't know I think this is enough though so let me get this in on my face and feel what it feels like so as I was saying I don't know if you guys know what it's like to have someone in your life that once you've even had a conversation with them you feel drained it's like crazy and um, I hate that feeling so I'm sitting at a crossroads as I don't know whether I should still have this person in my life and it's tough especially if it's, it's someone you care about so I'm sitting at that crossroads like look at me I feel so drained just having a conversation and it's like my word you know in the times we're living with so much negative news and things you actually just want people in your life who will inspire or encourage you you know what I'm saying so my thoughts on the primer it feels good it's nice and glowy my mud is over here guys let me just have a peek um, yeah nice and glowy the pores are kind of minimalized not much but it but it is so that's cool okay so I'm gonna be going in with the foundation this is in the shade 310 So let me know what you guys think about this because um, obviously I'm giving you guys my first impression this is the first time I'm using it I've literally I haven't gone makeup shopping in a while so I went this week I think it was like on Monday or something that I finally got around to the shops I've been so busy guys like business wise and that sort of thing with my daughter it's been crazy so it's nice to be able to try something new even though it's like I don't want to say a cheapy but yeah it's a drugstore product and it's a good it's really not expensive inexpensive so I'm just gonna squish this like on my face I don't feel like getting my okay pumping okay there we go something coming out right I 
that should be okay because I done like a bit of a test on my arm in the shop in the store and um, the product was quite thick actually thicker than what I had expected because it's a little pump like this I thought you'd actually need to like squirt a lot I would, it would be runny rather I thought it would be a runny texture it was quite thick the little bit that I put on my arm so let me give this a try I think I wonder if I should use the beauty blender or the brush I hmm so I cleaned my brushes and things today guys some of them at least not all of them I can't get around to doing all of them right now so let me try the brush first okay just for coverage sake I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt because I want full coverage today so I'm not gonna be going just natural like I usually do okay so far so good it's blending nicely And the coverage is really good guys so far so good i mean i had a mark here that you actually can't see right now okay so i don't know if you guys can see the blend up was quite good for some reason there's a red dot on my head i'm just gonna add a bit more though like i said i want to go full coverage today so let me get this on there and blend some more but please as i've mentioned let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this so far it's blending nicely coverage is okay let me just get this covered this red mark on my head i didn't cut it correct because it wasn't red before i started so i don't know where this came from but let me let me blend Yes, guys, so life is full of decisions and, you know, I'm, I'm just praying, asking, like, what it is that I need to do because it's tough. It's tough when it comes to choosing your circles, you know, and you want people, as I've mentioned earlier, that's going to lift you up, not break you down. And that's so hard to find. It's such a rare. That's why I appreciate and cherish the people in your life that encourage you, that support you, that stick with you. It's so tough out there to find genuine people who genuinely care about you, who, who want what's best for you. Some people will say they want what's best for you, but the actions will speak another thing. You know, I'm just looking at this brush now. I cleaned my brushes today, guys, and... <laughs> one down again it's already ah, but you know that's how it goes so far i'm let me take the smaller one and see i like it i'll just see about the eyebrow but for coverage it's actually quite nice i don't see pores so the primer don't see much pores so the primer did good Just like something what is this anyway okay I'm liking it guys so it's like a silky finish almost not really matte but it's not shiny which which I like I'm not really into like I don't know shiny silky makeup because I have um, 
combination skill. So like in winter, it's more dry. And then in summer, it's more oily. And I tend to like sweat my makeup off in summertime. So I need to go heavy with like matte and setting or baking as they call it rather. I need to bake. So in summertime, I definitely bake. And I'm liking the coverage on this so far. And I'm going to go in with the concealer. I've taken the shade 30. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't look like it has a name. I'm not going to light medium. I'm not going to. Go look for a name now. I think it's just light medium. Right. So I'm going to go in with this concealer. And let's see how it goes. Oh, it's like a brush thing. See, I didn't even know. It's like a little brush thing for those of you who haven't tried it yet. Let's add this here. Okay. Yeah, I've seen um, many other influences like using this. And I keep forgetting like... but. I never really went shopping for makeup per se in a while because I've been so busy. But um, while I was in the store getting my daughter's prescription, what am I saying now? I actually walked past the stand where they like had this, and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get myself this. I'm gonna see. So far, I'm liking it. Coverage is good. Concealer is nice. Let me just have a close-up look. Yes. I like it. Okay. Yes, guys. So, that's where I'm at in my life right now. In terms of decisions and things. But I, I definitely need to make that video because it, it bothers me. And I love, guys, just so you know, I support other influencers and things as well. I love watching makeup tutorials also myself. I enjoy it. But I see people doing the same thing. And I'm like, guys, come on. Should you not know this? everyone contouring the same let me put it like that not doing the same thing that's not what i that didn't come out right Also, just with regards to choosing makeup colors, I know I'm not sure, like, who watches my video, if you're advanced with makeup or if you are new to makeup, but I actually made a series on makeup and, like, choosing your foundation colors, on choosing concealers even. I've given all those tips, guys. So, please, if you've not yet watched that series on starting with makeup, even if you're advanced with makeup, you know what, as I mentioned now, there's actually a lot of people who claim to be makeup artists and things. Hey, I'm stepping on toes today. <laughs> but they don't explain these things to people. They haven't given people these tips yet. So I have taken the liberty of making a series explaining to you guys how to choose concealer, how to choose the right foundation for you. Because if you're someone who admires watching these videos, and you maybe want to start using makeup for yourself or you've never started using makeup for yourself right or you feel makeup doesn't work for you it could just be that you haven't been guided properly and um so that's one of the reasons why i've made that series and um so i'm thinking i'm going to be using the Revolution palette So X so Sophie, I don't know how you pronounce it guys So I'm feeling kind of bold in terms of colors today so I think oh, Let's 
this one's still a bit wet see some of the brushes are still a bit wet you just see these ones are more dry this one's actually nice and dry okay so look at these pretty colors so i'll start what is this one called even the names are on the front oh these are paper thing with the names i'm not gonna scratch for it now guys even the box so i'm gonna go in with this brown shade right it's right on the far end over here it's a nice transition shade for myself tongue twister blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Why is this brush feeling a bit wet now? Come on. It felt dry and now it feels wet. How even? It's not even blending nicely because it's it's wet, guys. Oh wow. It's too wet. Let me get another. Oh, this one's also wet. Okay, I'm going to try this one. It should work better. Let me see. Here we go, I think it's better. Just in terms of blending, it's like packing on color but not really blending because the brushes are wet. Can you believe it? And I actually took the edge eye guys and like blew it trying to get it dry. But that clearly was not anyways okay so i've got a transition shade on let me um let me go in with this nice coral pinkish color over here i'm gonna try this one out ah this one's also nice and dry let me try this one it's a bit light it's beautiful So I'm gonna darken up with this darker, darker one over here, right? Similar to the one I was using. And for those of you who know my style, I'm a nudie, right? <laughs> if if I can use that word, I like my nudes, like my day to day. I think that's really weird now on the side, isn't it? I like my nudes so I am happy to use like a nude color most days but I'm feeling bold today so I'm going to go in with a color today oh I don't go home this way right <laughs> Okay, just blending that out nicely okay wow then I'm going to go in with this more flat brush I wonder let me just see this color I'm thinking of going a more lighter okay here we go he's a nice pink Ooh, it's pretty. Just over. It's like a nice shimmer. Pink. I'm liking it so much. 
Good grief. Guys, also if you have any suggestions as to what videos you'd like to see me make, right? Any looks you'd like to see me do or just topics you'd like for me to discuss. Please let me know in the comments below and um, I do read and try to respond to all comments, guys. So, check me out and I'm on Instagram as well. If you've not yet checked me out there. Okay. This is so pretty. <laughs> okay. Now I need something to blend. I feel those lines are still a bit harsh up top there. I think it's also just because I'm not someone who usually uses a lot of color on my face. Is this brush still wet? It's quite wet. I don't think it's going to work for blending. Let me just have a look. Yeah, it's kind of wiping it off. Which is not really what I want. Let me see. Mm, yeah, it's wiping it off. Let me try this one. This one's better. Now I need to get that red back on there now. Gosh. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Okay. Lovely stuff. Wow. So big and bold. Mm. <laughs> okay, let me get my brows done. Okay. Let me get them brows, them brows. Ooh, I need to brush them first. What am I doing? So, guys, my mind is literally all over the place with this, as I've mentioned. just needing to know what it is that i need to do you know in terms of this relationship that i feel is affecting me negatively which is really important guys i just want to encourage you out there if you're in a relationship that you feel is not good for you right any whether it be with a spouse, friends, family even. You know, some people say you can choose friends, but you can't choose family, which is true. You can't choose who's related to you, but you can choose who you're in relation with. Let me just put that out there. So whether it's a family member that's bugging you, that's nagging you, that's being negative, because you know it happens, guys, especially in, like if you're South African, in our colored communities, like it's crazy. How people will just let their negative vibes and expect to like rub it off on other people which i think is insane you know and um if you feel you need to cut ties with someone 
let me know what you guys think about that do you agree do you feel that one should cut ties and i'm not saying in hatred or unforgiveness that's not what i'm promoting right i just mean for your own like sanity sake if i may call it that even do you feel it would be a good thing if you remove yourself from negative people or remove them out of your life rather because i mean Where does one draw the line, you know, if there's with people in your life that is continuously negative and we're not talking about for weeks or months, like for years, you know, and you give this person chance after chance after chance to change and to make better decisions and they don't. What would you do? Let me know, guys. And yes, I am a woman of faith, so I'm praying. And I believe in forgiveness and I believe in reconciliation. However, there comes a point, I believe, where sometimes you just gotta leave people and let God deal with them. Do you know what I mean? Like, literally, Lord, I'm giving the situation over to you. And you need to take the lead here. Yeah? You need to guide this person's life. I cannot be that for this person any longer because it's draining me, my time, my energy, that sort of thing. But let me know what you guys think. If you agree, if you have other ideas or advice or... If you don't agree, let me know. We can chat about it. Okay. Um, with regards to... Oh my gosh. Let me just get this highlighter. I'm really liking this color, this highlighter. I think it's going to work well. I'll use that in a while, in a bit. Um, I'm just trying to get this bronzer on here. The other brushes are still wet, even though I used my hair dryer. It's a bit too wet. Well, my first impression of the Revlon Canada and the primer, the Rose, Rose Glow primer, which I'm so far so good. I obviously want to give an overall assessment when I'm done, you know, and see what it's like. Let me just get, which one did I use for the, okay, this one was a bit wet. I'm not sure which brush I used for the initial undertone. Transition shade, not undertone. I'm not sure which brush I use for the, the transition shade, but I'm just going in with this one, right? And look at what a big difference it makes. Just adding a bit here. Like I said, I'll do a review, guys, on contouring. We just blend, 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 blend. Okay. 
oh that's another thing I like need to add some highlighter on the brow bone So for my lips guys, I'll be using the lipstick of Revolution in the color Untoward and the smudge pencil, I don't know what it's called, oh medium brown, okay. So this is like a colory, corally color <laughs> lipstick, tongue twister guys, tongue twister. Alright, so let me just line my thin little lips. Okay, so I've lined my lips. And we all know the secret is in the lining to make these thin little lips of mine look bigger. I've made a video on that, you can check it out as well. I'll link it in for you. Okay. Oh, I got some of my teeth. <laughs> So it's very corally. Let me just say that slower. Okay, let me just try and blend this in. Um, I've got a nice fluffy brush over here. Hope it's not still wet. Okay, so lips are done. So I'll be setting my face with the Revolution, the Pro Fix, and this is the illuminating fixing spray. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll just let that dry for a minute. Oh, that was looking lovely this side, eh? I like it, the highlighter. Then I'm going to be doing the my new found favorite, the Bang Girl, Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. I always get confused there and I want to read it from the bang because the bang stands out. So I always say bang first, but it's Bad Girl Bang actually. Okay, so let me just get my mini mirror. Just 
to do these lashes quickly Do the other side. Look at the difference, guys. Mascara is life. Seriously, it's like small eye, big eye. Just opens up your eyes so much. Sorry, this is taking so long guys. I love to take time with my lashes because like I said lashes are life so I will give them like special attention and care because I want them to look good Yes, pulled up like it okay and then down here okay guys so this is the final look I must say I'm really happy with all these products I would definitely give it a thumbs up and I will definitely buy more if you haven't got yours yet go check it out it's got good coverage, buildable, which I need, yet it's not cakey, it's not thick on my skin. My skin feels good, like mm, I can move, it doesn't feel stiff, which is awesome. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in joining the fam, hit that subscribe button, also the notification button, so that you get notified when I do upload new content. Thank you once again, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.